Good morning, it's Wednesday and it's currently the spring break, which means that I can buy one of these tickets, which is called a Seishun Juhachi Kipu, and I can travel as much as I like on the JR line for the day. And there are actually five spots, so I, for 11,500 yen, I can travel uh, unlimited along JR for five days. So I think I'm going to head off to Kobe and um, try and find some extra places that I haven't been to yet there. So I'm in Kobe now and um, I was thinking about heading up to the cable car but as you can see it has started raining and there probably won't be much of a view from up there. Now it's raining a lot, I'm in the middle of a thunderstorm and um, yeah. So I've stepped out of um, a very interesting bento lunch place it's in an izakaya and um, the weather is looking much better so I'm just going to um, head up to the herb, herb garden. Here we are, the herb gardens and ropeway. Harbourland with the maritime tower and the, that harbourland with the... Oh, wow! That's... Wow! The great thing about being on top of the mountain here is that it is just a nice leisurely stroll down the hill. And as you can see, the plum blossoms are all in bloom and the cherry blossoms aren't too far away. So that was the herb garden and now we have a little bit of a hike. Here's the front of it. Well, one thing I love about Japan is you can be out in the middle of nature and there will always be a vending machine. And we're back in civilization. So now I'm at the Hakutsuru Sake Brewing Factory. People processing rice for sake. There is some sake to try. The end of our tour. And we can buy some sake for. So that was fun. I tried um, a couple of sakes, uh, an umeshu and a yuzu shu. And now I'm heading back to the station for our final destination in Kobe. So it's almost time to head back, but I've left the best for last. You see it. Ah! That is so awesome. So I'm just standing in the shadow of Gigantor. Uh, it's so big you can't fit it in the whole camera thing. And so ends my Kobe adventure for the day. And I guess I will head back to Osaka and then back to Wakayama now.